Man, so Phantom is up 6.7% today, despite Bitcoin only being up 0.5%. What is going on? What is causing this pump? We broke the news yesterday that the legendary developer, Andre Kronje, who left so unceremoniously months ago, he left Phantom, he said crypto is dead, was still making GitHub commits as of yesterday. Yes, we covered that in a breaking video, but today I think I found the motive, the rationale of what could be happening with Andre Andre and whether he's going to be staying. So make sure you stay tuned till the very end. Hit up the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. This video is brought to you by Prime XBT, one of the world's leading exchanges. You can trade cryptos, you can stake and earn. There are contests on there as well. And you can even copy trade some of your favorite investors as well. Check out the link in the description. Use my promo code ijaza one and you can get a deposit bonus of up to $7,000. You don't even need to use your deposit money. You can just use this bonus element to trade with Without even touching your deposit so click the link in the description get yourself set up we're gonna get straight into this video because there's a lot to cover off with phantom and firstly you can see here we're sat at 37 dollars after just a couple of days ago really hitting lows of 23 so congratulations to a lot of you who are accumulating that dip at 23 you're now sitting up on a good you know 50 uh, percent rise on your money if you're buying in on these dips super low price on phantom the price of phantom has really been taking a hit along with all the other altcoins but phantom took an extra hit we know due to this issue around Andre Cronier. And what we noticed yesterday, there was a bunch of GitHub com commits, right? We saw that Andre Cronier was still posting, but today I think I found the reason behind what is going on. So let's take a look at this. First and foremost, we know that Andre Cronier less left really in a in an emergency, like not an emergency, but he left in a, in a hurry, right? He left uh, very quickly. He said the crypto space was dead. And we, we covered at the time that he was probably under a lot of stress around people giving him unnecessary flack in the ecosystem. So he needed some time to himself. Now, we also interviewed Michael Kong, the CEO of Phantom. If you haven't watched that interview, I'm going to link that up. Make sure you go watch that because he gave some clues around the fact that did Andre ever leave? And that's the point here. Did he ever leave? Or was he just stepping back from the forefront, taking his name off the headlines, but he's still working. And this is going to come onto my thesis of what I think is going on. You're not going to want to miss this, guys, because I really think I've managed to piece the puzzle together here. So let's go down and let's play this out a little bit together, right? So we can see here that he's come back. Now, what, what has he come back to do? Well, we've noticed that FUSD, which is Phantom Stablecoin, has been struggling recently, right? We know the Luna issue happened. We had prices falling, liquidity falling, and we saw all coins, with all projects with a stablecoin getting uh, smashed. Right, we even saw the biggest one tether decou decouple depeg temporarily, and we've been seeing the same issue with FUSD, which, to all intents and purposes, Michael Kong, the CEO of Phantom, has said was a failed launch. The FUSD, and they're working on making it better now. The question we want to come to is Con Cronje, Andre Cronje appears to be working on Phantom's F-Mint technology. Now, that's the technology they use to allow you to print FUSD. Remember, you need to stake your uh, Phantom in order to be able to. Uh, mint the FUSD. Now we know it's an over collateralized stablecoin, but part of the issue around FUSD was there, there was no liquidation technology behind it. So in other words, you could be over collateralized, right? So let's say I have um, $2,000 worth of Bitcoin. Now I have $2, sorry, of Phantom, $2,000 worth of Phantom. I stake it and I go borrow $1,000. But if Phantom price drops to a quarter of the price, I now only have $500. Uh, dollars worth of phantom as collateral to the thousand dollar loan i've taken out in fusd and that's part of the issue there who then takes up the difference what's going on there and that causes instability in fusd so we can see that new fip out phantom foundation tweeted they want to address liquidations how to repay outstanding debt because there's loads of people in this debt the example i've just given you and loan to values and the minting limits what's the limit to mint and what is the the loan to uh collateral uh, ratio that you can operate at so these are all basic proponents of getting yourself set up on a stable coin. But I've, I've got something different going on. What my thinking behind this is, we know what Andre's like. If anybody knows or has spent time around a really smart, enigmatic character, somebody like Elon Musk, what, what are they motivated by? Because it's clear Andre Cronier was not motivated by money, right? He left because of all the stick or the, the toxicity of the crypto community, which we know it can be from times. But what's he motivated by? He's motivated by technology. He's motivated by creating things that other people can't create, being one of the smartest minds from a technical perspective. 
So you imagine you're Andre Cronier. You're sat there the last couple of weeks. You see Do Kwan, who's also seen as one of the smartest minds, who was leading the charge for decentralized money and building the best stablecoin in UST, really taking all the glory, buying Bitcoin reserves and being heralded as the smart mind in crypto. Suddenly, it starts tanking. Suddenly, you get all this chaos. As Andre Cronier sitting on the timelines, does that not now challenge you? Does that not challenge him to say, hang on a second, nobody, because right now, nobody believes algorithmically backed stablecoin can be done. Nobody thinks even a good stablecoin can be done, right? Everybody's worried about all stablecoins, including Tether, which has its own failings in terms of how well it's collateralized. So what better project for somebody like Andre Cronier to come and be his defining moment, to come and figure this piece out? Will he accept the challenge, right? Is that something where he's going to come out and say, hang on a second, I'm going to prove it right. But he's not just going to prove it right in a separate project. He looks like he's doing it on Phantom. So what a huge boost for Phantom that they've got one of the smartest minds. If anybody is able to create such a stable, stable coin, a stable, stable coin, as opposed to some of these unstable, stable coins we've been seeing, wouldn't you want Andre Cronier to do that? The, the, the godfather of DeFi who created so many great projects in such a small period of time in crypto. So I think that's what we're getting here. You can see he's working on this FMIN technology, which we're looking at. You can see he's trying to fix the liquidations. He's trying to fix the LTVs and how to how people can repay the outstanding debt. And no doubt he's looking at that mechanism and playing around with it because he wants to because he wants to make this big. Andre Crony doesn't do things that small for a small stable coin on Phantom. If he's doing something, if he's creating a stable coin, he'll want it to be the very best stable coin in all of crypto. He doesn't do things by half measures. So this is a huge boost for Phantom. You can see the prices responding. Yes you're still at super low prices because the whole market is down and phantom's not going to suddenly decouple so don't expect it to go do something crazy but you can see now it's got the strength behind it and if andre cronier is indeed still working in the background on phantom which the clues were there michael kong said it in the interview i did with him go watch that then perhaps this is going to be a really big boost for phantom when the market gets going and bitcoin gets going i really think you're going to see phantom come out the blocks i mean this is huge you want the best mind working on the toughest problems and i didn't think without andre crony that phantom can create a really amazing stable coin I'll, I'll be honest i don't think so i thought they could create a decent stable coin better than what they did with their initial launch of fusd because they need a stable coin right the ecosystem needs it fine i thought they could do a good job but with Andre Cronier working on it, with him putting his effort behind it, say, hang on a second, if Do Kwan failed, and I could be the person that can go and create this, right? Who could be the one that, that solved this puzzle that nobody thought could be solved. That really does put a backing behind, that really does put a tailwind behind Phantom to say, this is the guy, he's got the bit between his teeth. He's now got a mission, which nobody else could create. The whole ecosystem's upset. Everybody's uh, disillusioned and disenchanted with the whole idea behind a stable coin. Can he go and prove it wrong? Can he be the one to create decentralized money, right? Can he do that? That's definitely a challenge worthy of somebody like uh, Andre Cronier, who's created so many DeFi projects, who's been there, done that, created well. What new challenge could he want? I think that's how he set it up his mind. I think that is why you're starting to suddenly, after many, many years of no GitHub commits from Andre Cronier, suddenly see him diving in and playing around with the FUSD and the F Mint technology on Phantom. Huge, huge news. Hope you guys enjoyed this update as always. That's the that's the breaking news right now. And that is why we're seeing the price pump here on Phantom. Again, the market's down and the market's going to not allow Phantom to go crazy right now. But all of this is going to add up that when the market does move, and you've already seen clues for that, Phantom will be able to move at a multiple of the rate much faster than Bitcoin, just like we're seeing today, 6.7% when Bitcoin's only moving half a percent. That is a really big move to the upside there on Phantom. And trust me, when you're coming off such low lows on some of these projects, that first bit really does move quickly. It really does come out the blocks quick and you're going to struggle to time that bottom if you're waiting for the bottom. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to check out Prime XPT. Links in description. Get your deposit done today, guys, and you're going to get a bonus up to $7,000. You even need to touch your deposit. Go and trade. Go and learn how to trade with that $7,000. You can uh, buy crypto. You can copy trade. You can stake and earn as well. So go check that out. You definitely won't be disappointed. Links in description. Promo, promo code jars a one okay get yourself set up as always if you like my content smash up the like buttons and subscribe and now go watch the michael kong interview and go to the bit where uh he talks about it's all timestamped. go to the bit where he talks about andre cronier and whether he actually left i'll also link up the video to yesterday where i actually detail and go and look at the github commits that andre cronier made thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one